cheapest meats would come from industrial scale farming, which has other questions. There's a lot of water, there's a lot of pollution that results from large scale farming. So eating down the food chain is something that many scientists feel in a growing global population is something that would be important. According to the Stockholm International Water Institute, 70% of all water goes to producing food, compared to 20% by industries and a mere 10% to households. Now consider this. It takes 23 gallons of water to produce a pound of lettuce, 25 gallons of water to produce a pound of wheat, 49 gallons to produce a pound of apples, 815 gallons to produce a pound of chicken, 1,630 gallons to produce a pound of pork, 5,214 gallons of water to produce just one pound of beef. We have choices, we have jobs, we create green energy, yeah, a sustainable energy, and even growing vegetable now is on demand. We are short of food, everywhere is food shortage, everywhere the food price rising so high that people, even middle class people, are having difficulty to make ends meet. So growing vegetable now should be profitable should be a very good incentive already. If the government encourage them, explain to them, they will know it. And the best if the government can do it. But you individuals, citizens of the world, can also do it. Try to go to the farmers one by one, whenever you can, make the time to go. Even though we are not in a power position like the government, but we can try one by one to persuade the farmers to change their life, to grow vegetables, to feed humans instead of raising animals. Tell them the picture, tell them the situation. Go veg, be green, save the planet. <laughs>